All right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson 29. And in this lesson, students are gonna be estimating sums and differences of, obviously, fractions, uh, using benchmark numbers. Um, hey, enough said, let's get going. All right, so the directions say estimate each sum or difference to the nearest half or whole by rounding and then explain your estimate. Now, parents and teachers, the first thing I gotta say is, hey, we are estimating here. We are estimating. So please, for these lessons that use estimating, do not use the answer key in the back of the book to assess whether a student's estimation is correct or not. Because the whole point of estimation is some students' estimations are gonna be closer than others, uh, but we do not want students to feel like they have to match their estimation to the back of the book. So parents and teachers, what this means is you are going to have to kind of use your own estimation skills to decide if a student's explanation is reasonable and to decide if that estimation is um, accurate, all right, reasonably accurate. Like a student could say, well, the answer is zero. The estimation is zero, and that's because maybe for their scale, they're thinking in terms of hundreds or two hundreds, in which case three and one are really small numbers, so your estimation is close to zero. So the idea is use parents and uh, teachers, use your own estimation skills to assess your students. Please don't use the answers in the back of the book. So let's get going. So I'm going to say three tenths, I mean three and one tenth rounds down to about three. I'm going to say one and three quarters rounds up to about two. So my estimation here is about five. So I would say it's about five. And parents and teachers, you'll notice that little squiggly that little squiggly thing means about, so equals looks like this, straight lines, and then when they're squiggly equal signs, that means about, so uh, three and a tenth plus one and three quarters is about five. That's why we use the squiggly. And let's get this going here. All right, there we go. Woohoo! And uh, enough said on this problem. This is more of the same. We're still going to be estimating. Um, we're still rounding things to the nearest half or whole. Uh, the difference here is now they're giving us improper fractions. So parents and teachers, the purpose of this is to give your students continued practice of turning these uh, fractions that are greater than one into mixed numbers. So I'm going to kind of go through this quickly but parents and teachers, please don't do that. Let your students um, make sure they really understand what's going on before um, you move on. Make sure students really do understand how to convert these fractions greater than one into mixed numbers. So I'm going to say, well, let's see, five and a third plus two and an eighth. Well, I'm going to round, oh, let's say a th five and a third. Now, parents and teachers, you may want to show students zero and one, and first off, begin by showing them thirds. Here's one third, here's two thirds, and then show them a half, right smack dab in, in the middle. So from here to here is a half, from here to here is a half. And so you may want to show them that a lot of students kind of think that two thirds is close to one, but really two thirds is actually closer to a half, and one-third is closer to a half than it is to zero. So that's a, that's a nice little benchmark that we want to get our students starting to think about, that five and a third is really about five and a half, is estimates to about five and a half, and two and one-eighth estimates to about two. So that's really about seven and a half. So our approximation, our estimation over here is seven and a half. And once again, if this answer is not exactly the answer in the back of the book, that's okay. Move on because what I did was reasonable. It makes sense. And let's move on. We don't want to freak out our students to think that there's a right or wrong answer uh, for the estimation of any particular problem. And this last slide is just 
allowing students more practice of the same just gives them a, a more opportunity to kind of think about bench, benchmark numbers. And so, for example, 10 and 3 quarters, uh, that's about 11. 12 and 11 twelfths, well, that's about 13. So that equals 24. So our estimation is 24. So notice what I did down here is the equal sign, but up here is the approximation symbol, and that's important because this rounds to 11, this rounds to 13. 11 plus 13 is equal to 12, so that's why we have the equal sign. So that means this question is approximately 24, and that's how we're going to use uh, distinguish the two symbols. Uh, again, we can, let's see, 15 and 9 twelfths. Well, that's about 16. And then 8 and 11 twelfths, that's about 9. So that's equal to 7. So our approximation is 7. And that wraps up fourth grade, module five, lesson 29, estimating sums and differences using benchmarks.